Oh. You're entering a minefield at the moment. And, and I love uh, it. Let me, okay, so let me explain the, the minefield. Um, the, so quantum mechanics is this highly successful theory right? So wow. we can write out the mathematics and we can do experiments to, I can't remember, 14, 15 decimal places, make a prediction and test it. You get the right answer. Whoa. Incredibly, incredibly successful. Uh, but it's in a language which doesn't really um, match our large scale, you know, co common sense experience of the world, mm. right? So on the small scale, as I've mentioned, it's all about wave functions and probability and uncertainty, which is, you know, not what we experience here. So the mathematics is beautiful. Then comes, how do I describe that mathematics in terms of an interpretation? I want to explain to you what the mathematics are doing. And nobody can agree on one single description that satisfies everybody. Mm. Uh, and the, so the, as you mentioned, there's this one uh, description, which is called the Copenhagen interpretation. Yes. Uh, because that used to be a hotbed of quantum mechanics back in, back in the day. Mm. Uh, and that is, is that the, you describe the, the microscopic world in terms of wave functions, which are waves of probability. But when you make a measurement, that measurement is precise, right? So if you imagine that we're talking about... Um, we could talk about an electron, but let's talk about a, a pool table because everybody loves pool, right? Yes. So, so you could imagine that uh, if nobody's looking at the pool table, that the, you have no idea where the pool ball is. And so there's some sort of wavy function, which is the probability of where the ball is. But as soon as you turn around, the ball is just there. You can see it. That's exactly what it is. Yes. So, the, so, there, it, so in one interpretation, there's a mechanism involved called collapse in the wave function, right? Yes. Whereby the, the, it goes from being something which is uncertain and spread out to being specifically in one place. And this is the idea that in what the bleep that they're using. And part of the problem is, is the observation is not rigorously defined by this picture, right? It's a picture. I've, dr mm. I've just drawn a picture. Mm. So to some people observation means a human looked at it, right? Mm. Other people say, well, why a human? What about a chimpanzee? Mm. Right? If a chimpanzee looks at it, I mean, a chimpanzee would know where a billiard ball is. Yeah. What about a, what about a dog? Okay. <laughs> and you, you can work your way down because there are some people that want to somehow attach um, quantum mechanics to consciousness. Yes. That, and that, that, that's sort of tied together. Now, so that, but that's just one interpretation of the mathematics and there are others. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.